All right, so let's start with Pro Phase 1. We're back on the iPod here, or the iPad here. Um, we're going to draw the same cell that we drew before. So we have our plasma membrane. We have our nuclear envelope breaking down here. I'm just going to put any nuclear envelope. And we're going to have a cell that's 2n equals 4. Okay. Oops. So there's the paternal chromosomes. The maternal chromosomes are paired up with it. So that's not very well drawn, but there you get the idea. Okay. So we have synapsis having taken place. Synapsis being the process by which the two homologous chromosomes pair up, forming a tetrad. And crossing over is taking place there. It's just hard to see right now. All right, now let's go then, and that's prophase one. Now let's go to uh, metaphase one. And another, th another thing that would be happening here is the spindles forming, and it's going to connect to those chromosomes. Okay, now... We're going to have one of those chromosomes here. I'm going to draw the other one down here. And we're going to have one of these down here. There's, they, they're still, they would still be touching. I'm just drawing them a little bit apart so you can see what's happening. Okay. Here's the spindle. This one's connected here. This one's connected here. And here's non-kinetic or microtubules out here. All right, so... Um, they're lined up at that metaphase plate, okay? That's metaphase one. Okay, so now let's go to anaphase one. Okay, so this, du uh, this duplicated chromosome is up here. This one's down here. This one's down here. Oops. I, oh well. And that one's up here. And they are being pulled in different directions here. Let's draw these out here. There we go. So these have been pulled up. Those have. So these have gone up. These have gone down. And then of course that leads us. So just if you want to put that in words, you could say homolog homologous. Uh, <laughs> Chromosomes separate. Okay. Now over here. Boop. Oh, let me let me let me redo that. We can draw cytokinesis taking place, nuclei reforming, but we're not where we were if the, in in the case of meiosis. So this cell has one of these. This one's got one of those, and this one's got uh, one of these, and this one's got one of those. Okay. So we have two cells produced. Each one has only one cell from each pair now. Or, I'm sorry, one chromosome from each pair now. And um, so they're haploid, but those chromosomes are still duplicated chromosomes. So this, of course, was, I didn't write it down, telophase one. So in meiosis, you still have uh, uh, G1 phase and S phase and all of that. So we duplicated the DNA, the DNA condensed, but in this case, chromosomes paired up, then we separated. Now, one thing I did not add on here, and you should add to your drawing, is that crossing over has occurred. And how can we show that? Well, let's just go over here. Let's add a little bit of blue to that chromatid. And let's add a little bit of uh, blue to that chromatid. And then we'll add a little bit of red then to this one. And a little bit of red to this one. Okay. And we can do that throughout. We can um, add a little bit of red here. Add a little bit of red there. Um, and, and in like manner, we can add a little bit of red there. And we can add a little bit of red there. And let's add in our blue. 
showing that crossing over has occurred right there so crossing over has occurred and right there so right there and right there okay so crossing over has occurred these are now chromosomes that are not uh, exactly the same as they were before the parts have swapped around we'll talk more about why that's important later okay <clears throat> now let's go off now to prophase 2 prophase 2 there would be two cells condensing now let me go back I'm not gonna draw those because that'll just get crazy chaotic so let's just draw this cell right here but this cell would also be dividing okay this cell would also be dividing so we're gonna draw that one where we have a red chromosome like so and it's got a blue part here and we have a blue chromosome over here and it's also got a little piece of red on it there okay so what's happening here chromosomes are condensing nuclear envelopes breaking down spindle is forming just like we've done before metaphase 2 now we have these things lining up more like they do in mitosis Let's put the spindle in red here. Just like before, everything else is just like we've seen in mitosis, essentially. So remember, this is a haploid cell, uh, n uh, equals 2, right? All right, now let's go to metaphase, prophase, metaphase. Now we're going to go to anaphase. but you can predict what happens here. That chromatid separates. That one separates. This one has a little bit of blue on it. This one separates and this one separates. And that one has a little bit of red on it. Okay. And then lastly, and I did not draw the spindle there, but the spindle is present. All right, and then telophase. And notice I made an error there. That's got to be interphase 2. This is telophase 2. So at the end of this now, we have two cells, uh, a total of four, because remember, let's go back, this cell would have divided as well. So at the end of all this, we have a total of four cells produced, and they are haploid, and it's n equals two, okay? So we started off with a diploid cell, two n of four, we end with haploids, four haploid cells, n of two, and they are all a little bit genetically different from each other because of crossing over. And we'll talk more about crossing over and how we end up with eggs and sperm that are a little bit different from each other in an upcoming video.